Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Speaking Plain English. My name is Roberta and I am your host. We have a such a special episode today. We are actually having an artist showcase. So you're going to hear some really, really good music from a wonderful, phenomenal group. With those of you who know me, you know I love good music. So we have Harry Ellis and Deep Intentions as our group for today. I hope you enjoy. The way you want it, yeah. Keyboard player for Deep Intentions, who also happens to be my cousin. What's going on, cousin? What's up? What's up? How are you? I'm good. Thanks good. For First of all, thank you for um coming out and you know just helping us to enjoy the y'all music because you guys were 
phenomenal. Thank you. All right. So Thank I have just a few questions for you, just, you know, a little bit about how long you've been with Deep Intentions and things like that. Okay? Okay. We good? Yes. All right. So question, first of all, about you. How many instruments do you actually play? I play two. Which are? Drums and piano. And how long have you been playing those? Uh, I've been playing drums practically almost all my life. Uh, I've been playing keys for at least 29 years. Which is your favorite? That's a good question. I love them both equally. I started out on the drums first, so I guess drums would be my first love. I honestly feel like everybody, all y'all started out on drums. Yeah, we did. Okay. The majority of the family did. <laughs> all right. So when did you actually, well, you kind of answered this already. When did you first take an interest in music, and what was it that actually led you to that point? Well, I took an interest in music when I was in my mother's womb, actually, <laughs> really. Uh, when my mom used to go to church, and the music would come on, and her dress would start jumping. <laughs> Literally, I'm in her stomach, and I'm jumping when the music is playing. <laughs> and then when the music stopped, then I stopped. Wow. Yeah. Really? That's really how it went down. So I guess from the very beginning. From birth. From conception. Yes. Possibly. Okay. Yes. So let me ask you, what has your experience with um, being the keyboard player for Deep Intentions been like? It's been a great experience. Um, I like thing I like about uh, Deep Intentions is that we do a variety of music. Um, we do jazz, we do a little bit of R&B, he even throws in gospel sometimes. Um, so I like the versatility the most. Nice, nice. And honestly, from what I've heard so far, I, I'm a music lover, period. I love, my thing is I'm a, mu I'm a lover of music that first of all that you can feel mm -hmm. and that makes sense i'll put it like that and this band here is y'all kill all Thank right you. so let me ask you what does for you as a, as an artist and as just a person in general what does music do for you personally makes me feel good it makes me feel good it um it takes me to another place um whenever i'm feeling is down or have a lot on my mind music soothes me can actually calm the savage beast as I hear. It does. All right. And Absolutely. One last question for you. So, um, from what I understand, you've been touring around the world and you've done, you know, played with different artists. So, what artists do you aspire to work with? I aspire to work with Kirk Franklin, mm -hmm. Let Us See, and Bruno Mars. Yes. All yeah. three awesome artists. Yes. Well, thank you for taking the time to hang out with us for today and. You have a good one. Thank you. You too, cuz.
I am blessed, girl. Fantastic. Yes. Dawn is one of the vocalists for Deep Intentions. And listen, if you want to hear somebody who can sing, <laughs> I was over here about to throw stuff at this one over here. Seriously. <laughs> throw shoes, flip flops, everything that I could possibly put uh, my hands on. So, Dawn, well, let's just get into it. I got a few yes. questions for you, hon. Um, I hear, so I hear that you are the queen of gospel energy. Yes, that's me. Okay, so how does that make you feel to hear that that's your title? Um... It actually feels good because I earned it, and uh, <laughs> I earned it. Um, it's um, people know me, so gospel energy just really simply means that no matter what I'm singing, whether it's house music, whether it's country, you know, rock, it's always going to be an element of gospel energy there because that's my foundation. No matter you know where, what country, wherever I'm singing, that that gospel energy is going to peek out, peek his head out somewhere. So. That's kind of just the title that I've gotten from people, so I'm crowned the Queen of Gospel Energy. Queen of God, come on, wear your crown yeah. proudly, honey. Wear your crown proudly. <laughs> so let me ask you this, being you did just say that you um, started in church. Mm -hmm. How long actually have you been singing? Ooh, God. So I will be 50 in November. Where? And uh, uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and so it's, I have a, a story. My mom said when I was about one years old. I used to jump off of her lap and I would sing all the commercials on TV. And she knew, she said in her spirit, she knew that there was something special. Wow. But I did my actual first gospel concert at five. Really? Yep, at oh, five years goodness. old. So from, what's, what is that, 45 years? Mm -hmm. 45, Coke 45? No, 45 <laughs> years, no. <laughs> no, so it's, but professionally, on a, on a real professional level, it's about 30 years. Okay. Yeah. I want to hear a little bit about that five-year-old experience, though. What was what was the wow. give us a little bit of about how that was going, how that went for you? Um. So it was a church that um wanted me to come because it's kind of funny. I was kind of like that famous little girl from Danbury, Connecticut. That girl, she could sing. Mm -hmm. You know, this little girl sounds. She's five, but she has this grown-up voice. Mm -hmm. And so this church asked me to come and be a part. And I just remember being in this church and it was a humongous baby grand piano next to me and I'm looking out into the congregation and it looks like millions of people. And 
I sing, and I sing this song, Jesus, 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 there's something about the name. And I'm looking out into the crowd, I'm seeing tears, and I'm seeing smiles. And literally in that five-year-old moment, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I knew that when I saw that reaction, like the smiles and the tears, I'm like, I can do that? You know, like, oh my gosh. And I... I never looked back. Awesome. Yeah. Even at a five, at five years five. old, that was just, you knew that that yeah. was what you were meant to do. Yep. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. So let me ask you this question. So what do you love the most about being a part of um, Deep Intentions? Oh, man. It's the family thing. It really is. Outside of the music, because we, we know it's music. But Harry is literally like an uncle to me. Um, we have history. I was 15. I'm about to be 50. I was 15 years old. And I had to get permission from my parents to sing with him. Mm. So we have, I'm 50, 15, 50. Woo, that's a long time. <laughs> um, but it, it really has always been a family. Harry has treated everyone that's been a part of this band like family. And like today, it was amazing just to be around everybody after so mm. long. So I really love that. I love, and he lets us be ourselves. He ain't nobody trying to change you. This is, if you come in this way, this is what, you know what I mean? He right. just accepts who you are as an artist, a person, and I love that. That's important. Yeah, it honestly, is important. To have a family atmosphere, and not only does that help, you know, with how the way that you feel, but it helps the vibe of the of the absolutely you know, the charisma and the, I'm using the wrong the chemistry. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, of the group. When there's itself. no competition, nobody's trying to play better than this. That's this one, it. it's like we're all coming together, clashing and all. You know what I'm saying? If they, it's it's we laughing, we having fun. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of. A vibe and awesome. chemistry, and and I really love that. I saw that too because I'm talking yeah. cut up, and that was so much fun. <laughs> I can't like, help it. Up, you shut up. I want to be like, girl, get up here. You know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So let me ask you, what artists have you had the pleasure of working with? Man, um, wow. So, oh God, I can't even. So many. Uh, I've been on the road with Dave Hollister, um, Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child, mm. Stephanie Mills. Uh, I'm a part of two Grammy nominated projects, Mesa, Mesa Smooth Jazz, Mesa Lee, uh, Gerald Albright, Phil Perry. I've sung on so many different people, Shante Moore. Yes. I mean, there's so many people that I could name because I'm, I'm also a session singer. Okay. So I do a lot, a lot of background work for a lot of major artists. So um, that's just to name a few. I, it's really a lot. <laughs> that's great, though. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. That's what it say, is. I was just about to say that's amazing because there are so many people you know, who would love to be able to just, you know, be in the same room with better, you know, than just sing with those that you have. Absolutely. Had the That's a blessing. Yeah. Itself. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this question. This is going to be our final. Um, what is your favorite song to perform? Now, when I say your favorite song, I mean like, okay, your favorite song with Deep Intentions as mm -hmm. well as your favorite song to perform solo. So my favorite song, we'll start with Deep Intentions. Is there's a song and it's very jazzy and very bluesy and jazzy. And when I first had to sing this song, it's real technical, musically technical. And I had to really learn and listen for these different parts and different things. And once I got it, the song was called You Got an Invitation. And that song, it just takes me, when I close my eyes and I start to sing it, it really just takes me to like, another place i'm like channeling miss you know phyllis and nancy wilson and all yes. these different people Ooh. it just puts me in that vibe and i'm like oh yes wait a minute you know and then i open my eyes like and everybody's staring like <laughs> you know so <laughs> Don't you love when I, I, that? I, yes Ooh. yes no but that song is amazing um and then there's a song that's on my album um that is that i covered called true colors by cindy lopper and that is mm. one of my absolute favorite songs I to like perform. Yeah, because the words and just the right. meaning of the song. Um, so those are those are my my two favorites. Awesome. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank so you. Much for just, you know, having the time to just sit and talk with thank you. Thank you. Blessing us with your ridiculously awesome. Ah, oh, thank you. you. It's a gift. It's a gift, girl. All right. Thank and you. You have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm sitting here with Mr. James McRae. How are you? I'm great. I'm excellent. How are you? Fantastic. So you are what Harry calls the golden key of wow. deep intentions. So number one, explain that, please. That is deep. Uh, the golden <laughs> key. Let's see. Uh, you guys seen Harry Potter, right? It's like a magical key myth. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> um, I think what Harry's trying to say is that um, 
I'm like the last element to Deep Intentions. Um, I have, I'm musically inclined. I've pretty much did everything in the band that there is to do except play the bass. Um, I listen, I have an ear, and then when I hear it, only thing different about me, I'm writing it down because in my mind, everything is a lyric. So, Ooh. and I get to speak it. That's why I like it, Deep Intentions because my deepest thought and my deepest intention is from listening to the band and listening to what they're saying. Mm. So at the end, I get to relate that. I like that. So it's kind of like they mix me in just in time. Like, yo, what is your, what is your opinion about the band? So I get to speak. You know. I like it, and it's kind of like an ad lib hip hop type of. Um, type it always of vibe comes to it. out in a spoken word rap form. Yes, sir. I tried to, I tried to like sing, but you know, Dawn. <laughs> it's pointless. <laughs> Listen. But that's family though, you know. She's my she's my cousin also. So we've been around each other forever. So it's like I've always been the one trying to rap while she sings. So when you say cousin, do you mean like for real for real cousin? For like real, blood for real cousin? Cousins. We or blood. is it like play cousin? It's blood. Okay, blood. I got you. Because you know everybody thick has blood. the play cousin. That thick blood. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so let me ask you about um what would you consider your final message of peace would be as far as it relates to the group? Uh, mm, that's a great question. I would say uh, unity, mm. unification amongst us, because that's what we need. It's like a lot of the songs that we like try to cover. I notice I'm an energy person. I mm -hmm. mean, if you really don't know what that means, I can explain it also. Go but for. when when we're around and we perform in certain places, I search for energy. Like it's like sometimes. You're not gonna get up on stage and do the best that you can. But if you try to, and that person's next to you, energy as well, mm -hmm. kind of makes your energy work too. Ah. So we kind of feed off each other's energy. So sometimes we might not have a good show, but somebody in that band, energy is high. And mm -hmm. once you find it, it clicks. It's like a light, you know? So that's, the, I would say, the energy amongst us. Okay, like a domino effect. Absolutely. Say. I got you. Okay, so your voice is like, it's the. As you just call and you just said unity, it's mm. like the the link for unity for the young people. How would you, what uh, what what does that mean to you? Well, I think I'm getting that title because of the hip hop theory. Like okay. you know, this is jazz. You know, um, we got gospel, we got R and B. Hip hop has always been last on the you know on the on the agenda when it comes to naming music. So. It's funny because people listen to this and they hear me and they like, yo, that's dope. Like, what what is that called? And honestly, I created my own word. I said it's fusion. You know, I like it's jazz I fusion. Love it. You know, like because it is it's not to confuse you because mm -hmm. I'm I love music. So when you love music and you hear music, no matter what kind of music it is, mm -hmm. you gotta just let it flow. And I this agree. is the great place for it. I agree. You know? Do you have a favorite genre? No, I love gospel. And uh, it's probably because I was raised in church. Mm -hmm. And believe it, I, I write a lot, but my writings are always some old school artists mm -hmm. coming from me listening to Sam Cooke, uh, Otis Redding. I like listening yes. to I like listening to the pioneers of music, not right. just hip hop, because their message back then is the message that we live for today. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? They seen something that we didn't see. And, that's good. And we got to keep that going. That's all. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you again for thank sitting you. down with me and um, for having me. and just being such a um, I, I don't want to call it a hype man because that's you know that's flavor flay. <laughs> 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 but you bring something extra to the group that I noticed, and it kind of brings, you know, it, it, a relevance, I guess, per se, to because, you know, like from what I've heard you guys play and a lot of I've heard the music that you guys have done, I'm, I'm an old school, so I'm an old soul. So I'm used to hearing, you know, like the, the, the sound of old school. Mm -hmm. But with you being a part of the group, that kind of brings some of the younger generation into you know, to have interest in it as well. Yeah. So thank you for that. And because what that does is that actually, it keeps real music alive. I'll put it like that. I'll agree with it'll you. It'll keep real music alive and it'll keep those who are younger, like, this funny because y'all did people make the world go around. My son, who is five years old, wow. has grown a absolute love for that song as of recently. I'll go in the car and he'll ask me to play and, and he'll go around humming the song. See, that's and awesome. 
being that you know that actually helps keep the younger generation knowing what real music is because mm -hmm. there's a lot mm -hmm. of garbage you're absolutely right about that <laughs> you are so right about that so again thank you so much for taking this time with me thank you for having me absolutely all right so now we are here with gypsy what's going on sir See you again, sister. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now you're here with Deep Intentions today. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. So listen, I have a question for you. So Harry has said that you have a such you you're so channeled with God that music, the music that you play, just kind of like floats over the rhythms you lay down. So just speak on that right there. Um. Well, to be honest with you, uh, I like to try to connect with whatever's going on. Um, sometimes other people might not really, uh, as one of the other members said, sometimes other people might not have the energy. So it's like, mm -hmm. try to, sometimes you gotta just, you gotta light that match yourself, you know, and just really try to, I'm, I'm about joy as well. That's really, that's actually, that's the main yes. thing. It's about joy. And once you have that in you, and then it just, everything just happens on its own. Everyone else connects with it and then bang. Nice. So how long have you actually been with Deep Intentions? Um, I actually want to say about uh, maybe three. Is, has it been three years already? Three, four years off and on? I, I want to say about, about that. About three, four yeah. years? And so what kind of effect do you think that the group has had on you? Well, I think that they're awesome, first of all. Oh, um, great. Everyone is cool. You know, definitely a family vibe. Um, everyone gets along. And I enjoy playing with them. That's another thing, too. I mean, as a professional in any given get any given field, sometimes you come across people you don't want to work with, but you have to anyway. Mm -hmm. There's no issues here, so it just makes everything a lot easier. I love that. I love that. And just with everybody else that's spoken, how much of a family atmosphere. And again, I'll say that is so, so important. It really is. Absolutely. What is it about, because you, I, I know that you've toured with different people and you, you work with different artists. That's Hence the name Gypsy, because you've been everywhere, I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> so what makes Deep Intention such a, um, I guess, a special group for you? Besides the family atmosphere, like you've already mentioned. Well, yeah, like I said, that's something that I just have to continually stress and get to. Um, he, uh, Harry allows a lot of freedom, you know what I mean? Sometimes you, well, there's guitar players in particular, sometimes they play, they'll play too much. So it's like, you gotta have to, you have to rein, rein them in. I'm the kind of person where um, I like to just give enough until I'm told, until the leash is taken off, until mm. the flood gets out to come. But, you know, he's just like, no, no, play. Like, he gives you a lot of freedom. So, again, that just allows, it just facilitates, you know, just, okay, no problem. And then, again, just the vibe just bounces around and you bounce off of each other. Love it. And just because we've spoken about this once before, how is um, your stuff coming? Oh, it's it's coming along fine. Um, I'm trying. I'm aiming for some sort of a release next year, but everything is coming along. Um, it's coming along pretty good. Pre, you know, pre-production, pre-pre-production stages, I should say. But no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic, and so are we. And speaking awesome. plain English, listen, we are waiting. The world is waiting. <laughs> All righty. So thank you so much for taking the time to hang with us today. Thank and you. later. Woo! The first time that I saw you, I knew there'd be no turning back. You blessed me with a new feeling of love. I never had. Now that you're always there for me Enchanted love is for us to know Life is fresh like the first breath of spring You know it was sent from above Flickering flame.
flame turns to fire wondrous love years for my desire rising above life's ups and downs I never have to fear again together we're a pillar of strength and power our search is over nothing can hold us back maybe for us there'll never be a pound of gold true love We pay. No matter what the people say, stay, stay true. Stay with me. The world is ours to embrace. Not down adversities we face. No matter what the people say, I need you to stay true. No matter where you are, yeah. Mr. Harry Ellis, how are you, sir? Very good. It's good to see you. You yeah. as well. Good to see you as well. Yeah. So we're just going to go over a couple little questions about Deep Intentions as well as yourself. Is that all right? Great. Great. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. <laughs> so let me ask you this. How did um, you actually get your band started? Boy, it's been like, I've been through many journeys of finding what the band for me would be. Mm -hmm. I, I work with a band called True Blue. And came out of Westport and I worked with some pretty good people at Game of Hegan and uh, a few other people that we put together. People involved with the Jatra, which is Sri Chimoy, uh Mahabisha Orchestra. Wow. People from that, that genre it taught me a lot about music and mm -hmm. harmony and melody. Yeah. And then it took a while to write the music. Writing the music was very treacherous. It, was long, <laughs> it took a long time. And then to take the music and teach people the music, mm -hmm. that's the hardest part. Mm. And it's I couldn't find the right people until I finally came up with my people uh, um, with me today. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. That, that's important to be able to have a chemistry of, um, of people who are actually willing to not just, yes. you know, to come just for the work itself, but to actually love the music, to, right. uh, to have a good fusion. That's, it's right. hard to come by. Yes. It's definitely hard to come by. As a, as a songwriter myself, one thing that I find it kind of interesting to be able to do is get people who can kind of, you know, have whatever it is that you have going on up here, right. you know, out in the forefront. So that's, it's, you can tell that you guys have a really, really good fusion together. And the thing about it is like trying to find people who are not into the competition of who's the That's better it. musician, who's going to say what is right and wrong. Mm -hmm. We just kind of click. And humility You know, it's like if someone has a question or I might say something to a player, just stay right here. Don't worry about it. Just mm -hmm. do what you got to do. Make it like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then uh, I give the people a lot of freedom to play. So. Nice. Yeah. Let me ask you, where did you get the name Deep Intentions from? <laughs> believe it or not, it's channeled from God I because I, 
I can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. I've gone a long way. It's been, I mean, I work with, my other band was called uh, Spirit of the Brothers, another name that came out of from God. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a two groups, of, two sets of brothers. And we were on our way to tour with the Chamber Brothers and people like that. And then someone tried to steal the band because they thought, because I wasn't one of the brothers, that they could take the band wow. and, and make it their band. Wow. But they didn't know what the chemistry was, so mm. it fell apart. Mm. That, that <laughs> so worked. then after that, I said, I'm going back to music school. I'm going to learn some more stuff and not have that happen to me again. And it hasn't yet. Yeah, has no. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Well, that's an experience that you had to go through now yeah, that you so appreciate true. what you have more, I would say. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you, how long have you actually been in the music business? Well, I guess music is a love, mm -hmm. really. I mean, when I first saw Jackie Wilson, and I saw him dancing and performing, I said, whoa, people can do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And right away, I said, that's what I want to do. And I was only like five, five years old, maybe. And then... That seems to be the age. And then you got uh, Elvis coming out with his guitar playing and, and dancing like Jackie, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? So it's like, wow, everybody can do this. So let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of taps into the next question that I was going to ask you. Like, who, who do you say your musical influences are? Oh, boy. There's so many influences. Uh, well, for my dad, he had a lot of big collection of, of music, like uh, Theonis Monk. And Mingus, I, I mean, I was digging into the real heavy jazz stuff. Mm. And then uh, one of my friends, Eric Vaughn, he's a, a piano psychopedia. Wow. He's out in Vegas now, but working with him all those years, we grew up together. So I learned a lot about, you know, putting together chord progressions and melody without even knowing what I was doing, but I learned a lot. Wow. <laughs> you know, so... I put it to work for myself, Amazing. yeah. You know, and I was influenced by Herbie Hancock. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember when I was only 16 years old, we were performing Herbie Hancock stuff. So, so kids, those of you who don't know who Herbie Hancock is, I need you to go Google them, YouTube them, or whatever. <laughs> He's talking real music here, so if it's over your head, it's okay. Just <laughs> go look it up, you'll, and you'll get it then. I'm yeah. sorry, continue. It's okay. <laughs> And then, you know, a friend of mine uh, you might know is Marion Meadows. Okay. So I grew up working with him and booking his band and playing with his band and, and watching him grow. Mm. You know, he's top of the charts, so. Amazing. So let me ask you this. I know that um, I want to see if you can do this off of the top of your head. Can you name all of your band members? Oh, what they boy. <laughs> I have so many band members, but you okay. saw today was some, uh, you know, some of the key players. Okay. There's other players that, that are not here, mm. that if one other player can't make it, I call on another player. And that's how you do it. So as an organization, it's not just a band. Okay. It's really an organization. So what is, I'll, I'll, instead of, I guess, instead of naming names, then what is your, as far as the instruments? What is your band as far as who plays, not necessarily who plays what. Yeah. First of all, what do you play? I play percussion and vocal. So, and, uh, and I do a lot of directing on stage and stuff. And then I have other directors in the band also. Mm -hmm. Like AJ is one of the field directors. And AJ plays the keys, correct? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, AJ Swindell. Yes, yeah. AJ Swindell. So last question I have for you. So if someone wants to book you and your band for um, for gigs, how can they reach you? You can go on Facebook, email me. You can email me at uh, bookingdeepintentions.com. And i uh, love to hear from anyone who would like to book this band. This band is really a fun band to see. We cover so many genres. Mm -hmm. We don't just play jazz and people misconstrued jazz and all. You sound like Miles Davis? Uh, not really, but 
we do Miles Davis, but we don't sound like Miles right. Davis. You have your own different <laughs> yeah. sound, and I love it. Yeah, I absolutely you love know, it. influenced by Marvin Gaye yes. to speak of, mm -hmm. and uh, Marvin Gaye influenced me a lot <laughs> as far as contemporary jazz. But Marvin Gaye did soul first, mm -hmm. and then he broke into contemporary jazz, which they no one ever called it that. Mm. It became contemporary jazz later on because you can actually see the fusion of the music. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your band with us. Thank you oh, for thank you. Um, just giving us such wonderful entertainment. It was amazing. It was great to actually get the chance to listen and hear you guys yeah, live thank you. and live in color. You guys have got to see and hear them live. They're amazing. This that you just heard a minute ago, that's all well and good, but to see them live is, is, is something else. I was, I'm telling y'all, I throw stuff at y'all yeah. <laughs> today. So thank you for taking the time oh, to thank sit you with very me much. and talk to me. And thank you for your, um, for just, you know, the wonderful entertainment that you've given us today. Thank you very much. <laughs>